Yeah, I think when we first talked, we just had the one time trial underneath their belt and only really one good time to, to check them out. So we've had a couple good hard workouts since. And, and overall, everything's gone, gone well. They've been able to hit uh, the, the paces and what I've wanted to see out of them pretty well. Uh, we had a good long workout this past Saturday where we combined a long run and a tempo run. And, and for some of them, it was equal to the longest run that they've only done one or two times and then added some hard running in, in, in it. And so uh, for them to be able to handle that showed that they, they have some strength heading into cross country season, which, you know, again, we put a lot of emphasis on on that this year is we need to make sure we're strong enough to, to handle the cross country courses and that, that comes with being able to handle a little bit more mileage and, and then the tempo run. So, uh, you know, I've been pleased with the last couple couple days. We have higher expectations and uh, so we're, we're going to be trying to do a little bit more than we did last year, ask a little bit more out of them than, than last year, but at the same time making sure we pace ourselves through the season and, and don't get ahead of ourselves. and. Um, you know, I think they've, they've done a good job of buying into that, um, especially I would say some of our top women that we lean on uh, this year to be successful, that it's been, it's been hard over the past couple seasons to hold them back, but they've bought into on the in-between hard workout days of, of pulling back the reins a little bit and focusing on just getting in what they need to on those base aerobic days and not, not trying to push it too far so they can really put the effort in on, on the right days. And, and the guys have done well with that as well. So, um, you know, I've been pleased with them putting the focus on the right days so far. Now it's a small sample size uh, and, and you can get antsy as you go and, and the race in a couple weeks, you know, if that goes better than expected or, or not as good expected, sometimes that can affect them. But how they've started is how we need to keep pro progressing throughout the season. And uh, I've been pleased with that. Uh, with the men, uh, they've, you know, they have one New, new freshmen in here right now with them, so a lot of continuity with the, those guys and a lot of high expectations. So, um, you know, sometimes they get a little competitive amongst themselves, but overall, um, you know, they, they've been encouraging each other in workouts and, and doing well of pushing each other and raising the level of each other and not beating each other down. So, um, you know, they're, they're doing a great job and, and are really motivated as a group. And then on, on our women's side, I think uh, it's head and shoulders so far above last season of just, you know, how they're coming together and gelling. Um, it, it's very much an individual sport, but when you can, can really feel like you're out there pushing for more than just yourself, it makes a huge difference. And, and you can see that right now that, you know, they're, they're not just looking at what they're doing. They're, they're seeing what their teammates are doing. And so the women, I think that's, that's going to help a lot.